Welcome to this video which is going to talk you through how to solve the auto brightness adjusting issue with um, monitors. Now I'm using Alienware here and the monitor is absolutely fantastic, I'm really impressed with it. But what I found is if I'm on a, a white or a bright screen like this and I change it to a dark screen, it actually kind of gets darker. Um, this isn't too much of a problem if you're browsing or you know flicking between windows or um, doing some work, but when you're playing a game, what you end up with is when you walk from a outside environment into a building that's dark inside, the screen goes very dark and you can't actually see what's uh, what's happening. So I'll give you a quick demonstration if I can. Um, this is uh, obviously browser here, white page, and I'm going to load a dark page. So I'm using uh, Windows in dark mode. So if I load this here you can actually see that it actually starts to get slightly darker. Now, I don't know if it's easy to catch that on the screen. Um, I'll try and move that around. So this is now darker than the uh, light screen was. So if I go back to the white, you can see that it's getting brighter there. Okay. And as I said, this is really difficult in, um, in games. So if I quickly load, you, load a game up here. So here's my white. If I go back to a dark screen, it just gets darker. And back to the white screen, you can see it there getting lighter. So let's see if we can quickly load up control. Now what I found was it doesn't, um, this only happens when it's on game mode one or game mode uh, sorry when it's on game mode this happens so if i go into let's go game mode one okay, so it's quite dark now um it looks better on the camera actually Let's start this. Um, we'll go to continue the game. So I will show you after this how to uh, how to resolve this this issue. Right, so here I am now, fairly good, light's all right, but if I walk into a dark area, that's a light area, so that's okay. I've got ray tracing on here, so it's it works quite well. Let's try right through here. Okay, so here's a dark area. If I walk into the corner, now that's pretty good on yours, but on mine, on the actual monitor, it's black. I can't distinguish the character at all. So anyway, it's not really working when I'm playing um, games and uh, you may have had this problem yourself. Okay, so you can probably see it there as I'm moving these round. It's not working. Okay, so this is first person. And again, if I run into the one of the darker areas. It's not good. Anyway, so that's that issue there. Um, what you'll want to see is how to solve this, which I'm going to now show you. So let's exit. Right, what you're going to need to do is change the dynamic contrast on the monitor. So you're going to go to the settings and you're going to go through to preset modes and we're on first person. Okay, then I'm going to click that 
I'm going to move down. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go back to the previous window. I'm going to move down to display. And I'm going to select the dynamic contrast. Now I'm going to move to off. So I'm turning the dynamic contrast off. You'll see the screen will drop in color. Now if we go back to the preset game mode that I want. Uh, I'm going to go back into game one. Right, so if we try it now, here's the white. We're now going to go back to the black. And it stays with the same level of brightness. There is no adjustment. Okay. Go back to the game, but I've obviously closed it. Um, you can see that, uh, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but that's basically how you do it. Um, it's solved. It took me several weeks of looking around and uh, I was looking at reinstalling the Windows software because apparently you should be able to click here and uh, there should be an option here to turn off adjusted dark and um, brightness but for some reason it's disappeared it doesn't give you an option here okay so that's the solution I have to find so it starts so it's um your main menu key on on your monitor if you're using Alienware and then scroll down to the display and then we're turning the dynamic contrast off uh, I hope that saves you a lot of time and uh, if you you know if you had a headache with it before hopefully that solves the problem now um, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you find any other solutions then let me know thanks for watching